Greetings. My name is David Zokaitis, and, and, and I've been described as the most colorful character to run for office for a while. So in keeping with that tradition, I put on, picked up a nice bright shirt for this evening. All right. Let's try this way. Now, I'm here to talk about this proposed parking ramp. And I could talk for at least a moment about why this is so important. Well, it's a Jayugis city project. We've got millions of dollars going down, and it's just worthy of careful, considered analysis. There are some unanswered questions which really um, should get their day, and they should get their data. Now, I've said before that we should get an independent analysis of what it costs to build a parking ramp, and here it is. This is the um, part of the Walker report that the city gathered about three years ago. And if you look at it, it says that for about $10 million, a little bit less, the city ought to be able to put up a parking ramp with 692 spaces. All right, so that's my reference. $10 million, 700 spaces. Okay. Now, I've got a, a whole lot of questions here. and This kind of goes on and on and on. And if we need more parking, well, why not extend the ramp at 8th and Nikola? Seems like a cheap, practical solution. And bullet number two here, and this is a real killer. And this is more important than all the other questions. Why does the city ramp cost $21 million when the Walker report said that we only need $10 million. That's, that's more than a factor of two. And the Walker report said that we can build almost 700 spaces, and the ramp is only 525. So we're paying more than twice and making fewer spaces. Something's kind of weird there. And additionally, uh, we're renting out 150 of them as soon as we build them. Okay, so if you calculate the number of publicly available spaces, out of that 21 million, that's almost four times the cost per space in the Walker report. Wow. I mean, really, that, that's the numbers. And I'm kind of wondering, why are we doing this? So then there's all these other related questions. Um, who picked the, who, who assessed the construction cost? Who picked that number of 21 million? How'd they figure it out? Who picked the ramp contractor? There's a critical question. How did they figure that out? And of course, we, there's this mysterious appraisal that says the hotel building rights for that's worth a million dollars. Well, who made that appraisal? And regarding that appraisal, we got to wonder if they, if they figured out if that um, parking ramp, you know, there's, a, there's this parking ramp underneath the building. Well, what's the value of being located on that parking ramp that serves as a foundation? Did they take that into account? Who picked the builder? How did they do it? A lot of unanswered questions. And we got more yet. There was a building collapse not too long ago that was done by Legacy Developments. And did anybody think about that when they picked them as the builder? And when we lease parking spaces to Legacy, are they going to be subsidized? Or will Legacy have to pay the construction costs inherent in those spaces? And why does the city have to pay for tearing down the hotel after its 80-year lifespan? Now, the critical questions are, are here, and why is all of this secret? I mean, the executive should have answers to all of these questions. They're holding it secret. And why does the legislature say this is okay? I mean, the legislature can say, we don't like this, and we're going to turn it around. And then we should wonder who owns the contracting companies and who really benefits from the project. And Really, I, I kind of hate to say it, but I'm wondering if this is a, some kind of a reward for a secret deal made somewhere. Good questions. They all should have answers. And here's my recommendations. The city should compare the cost of this proposed ramp to the cost inherent in the Walker Report. And, and you get a factor of four difference. And that's just huge. And then I think you should cancel the project. I mean, look at the data and say, sorry. No good, turn it around. And I, I really think we need government for the people. In general, it's valuable. And of course, you know, got to close with something to smile and enjoy. This is a picture I took at Lake Lorraine, and the geese kind of volunteered. Thank you, David. Decorate it for me.